What's up everyone, Tengu230 here, hope you guys are having a great day. So welcome to Assassin's Creed Chronicles India. I played the previous Chronicles game, China, and that featured the character Xiao Jun. Uh, I was actually planning on doing Assassin's Creed Syndicates, but since I'm playing this, I don't want to play two Assassin's Creed games like together like that. So I'm going to be doing Syndicate after this is finished. And also, Just Cause 3 is pretty much done, as well as Contract, I just have to upload the footage. So I'm thinking about doing another game, and I'm thinking about doing The Thing, which I left at two parts, and finishing up Life is Strange. So I wanted to just let you guys know what's on tap. So anyway, let's play Assassin's Creed Chronicles. Amritsar, India, 1841. Arbaz Mir has stolen the Kui Noor diamond from the Maharaja's place under the Templar's noses. Arbaz mentor Hamid thinks the diamond is a powerful piece of Eden, but Arbaz is more interested in the beautiful Princess Piara. Her grandfather, Maharaja Rajit Singh, was killed by the Templar agent Francis Cotton, and the region is in turmoil. British troops are strengthening their influence in the region under the command of Templar agents infiltrated within the East Indian Company. Events recently worsened with the passing of Ranjit's son and successor, Karag. The court is preparing to crown his other son, Duleep, when Arbaz decides to take the risk of sneaking into the Amritsar Summer Palace. Security's tight today. Someone must have noticed my visits. I don't need weapons to knock out a few guards, but better not give them a reason to shoot me. <laughs> there it is. Now to reach it. Unarmed and in areas I shouldn't be, full of palace guards. This is going to be fun. The Assassin's Heart. On the edges of the Amritsar Summer Palace stands our Baz Mir, skilled and deadly assassin. This mission is different, though. There are no Templars to deal with, only innocent guards who, under the Assassin's mantra, cannot be harmed. Arbaz must rely on all of his training and skills to gain entry to the palace and move through its grounds without being detected. Deep within the palace walls lies Arbaz's goal, Princess Piara Kaur. Uh, her personal chambers. Alright, so, let's play! So, as we go, we get points. Okay, uh, hold left shift to sprint. And then jump, I'm assuming, and what? C. C! I'm pressing C! Ooh. Slow motion dive. That was awesome. So the more the more points you get per level, you get those upgrades that you saw in that introductory like dialogue box. All right, so let's vault here. And the background is awesome. Look at that, man. You can as far as the eye can see, like a greenish bluish hue. That's that's pretty awesome. So I will let you know I played this a little bit. So I think there was a fragment on the zip line. Uh, I think I think I picked up about like three fragments so far. So this should be easy. So where those fragments will be, I'll I'll let you know where they are based on if I can actually remember them or not. I actually noticed I didn't notice those peacocks over there in between the uh, or sandwiching the uh, the gate wheel. Oh, there's a tiger in a cage right there. Let's head through. And some very colorful elephants. That's uh, that's something you don't see every day. I'll let him talk. So, I don't know which dialect... Uh, in India, that is, but <laughs> it does sound, but it seems to fit the bill. Okay, can I just, okay, I can just walk past the guy. Awesome. Alright, let's head up here. I'm not even really on the red. You know what's funny? The, uh, the fact that... The fact that I didn't turn subtitles on and I had no idea what they were saying. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay, so I got Shadow Gold there. That usually means you go through a level without, like, killing anybody. But when I was playing China, I pretty much killed everybody I could. But then I was I still stayed, stayed out of sight, so I still got gold marks. Man, look at the scenery. That is insane. Wow. Ooh, look, they had like little, uh, like when they took off, like those little, uh, like whirls. 
All right, so this is the map. It pretty much shows the layout of the rest of the level as well as any fragments or chests that I might have missed. And it seems like I actually missed some. I see one right there, right in the background. I totally missed it. That is an interesting design that is like flourishing in the background. So crouch underneath the elephant. I actually just did notice an animus shard all the way over there, right behind the elephant, if you guys can see. I didn't even know. There's one down here too. What? I totally missed that one. Holy shite. And a chest. Wow, that map's good for everything. All right. Wow, that is that is very interesting how I missed those the first time. This is a very beautiful garden. I don't know what the upkeep on this thing would be. That is insane, though. All right, let's head left because that's where the shard was. And there we go. Anything inside? Nope, I just ran into a wall. All right, let's vault over here. Climb the tree. And I don't... That's... It's weird sometimes, the animations. Like, he uses his feet, he just moves down really slow, and then he just uses his arms. Alright, hold F to show your whistle area. Use the mouse to modify it. So, the character, or the, the enemy you want to distract, he needs to be in the circle. As you can tell, he has the circles emanating from his head. And I will whistle, and he'll come to the left, and I'll just, you know, sneak my way to the right. Huh? Huh? And we're good. Shadow gold, baby. All right, let's not get in your vision cone, because that would be a bad thing. So if there are like two consecutive hiding places, I can dart to the one I choose. Okay. I can't take that guy out yet, apparently, but that's fine. Okay, here we go. So let's exit. Maybe shall head up. So I need to distract this guard who's looking this way. So I'm gonna do that right now. There we go. He is distracted. Let's move up here. I feel like a cat when I'm playing this game. Like. A really slinky cat, like like a like a like I'm a panther. All right, I'm pretty sure they'll see me. <laughs> I mean, it's on their plane. I don't know if they're moving left. So I'm gonna have to wait until they move to the right. I'm gonna head into the into the shadowy closet. The shadowy abyss. I'll wait till they move to the left. Yeah, it's pretty much Bread and Butter Chronicles so far. Nothing completely... Like, nothing completely uh, different. At least in terms of abilities. Uh, there's, there should be a fragment actually right there. Um, yeah, since this is the next game in line, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to get like a lot of gear in the beginning at first. Alright, so let's hide here. As soon as he moves, we're gonna go. I'm gonna turn around and just sneak the hell out of there. And grapple. See, I, see, I don't remember the grapple. Um, oh god. Don't see my feet, please. I don't remember the grapple being early on in Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. I remember that being like mid-game? Mid to late? Uh, unless I'm mistaken. I need to watch my old videos again. <laughs> Alright. Oh god, that guy's gonna see me. I don't I don't see anything left, so I think we should be alright. So where I'm crawling to now, underneath, like above that door, there was a fragment. So I'm just letting you guys know where they were. Okay, so going from tree to tree. And we're gonna slide. Oh god. <laughs> I almost fucked that one up actually, but that was that was a cool slide. Okay. Okay. Now get out. Okay, okay, we're good. Woo! Love that sound. 
Love that sound. Especially when I see Shadow Gold, it's so awesome. These palace guards are innocents. Perhaps a quiet, non-lethal takedown would make my life easier. Will do. Hold left mouse button to perform a non-lethal takedown. I gotcha. Look, he's literally seeing stars. Control C to loot a body. Okay, that's new. I don't remember looting bodies in China. 